Hi Jason, my name is Kristen and I'm a physical therapist. From the information you have given us, you have been medically diagnosed as having osteitis pubis, which is an inflammatory condition of the pubic symphysis. You said your symptoms are really bad when you roll over in bed and do any twisting activities. Um, the biggest suggestion I can offer you is that we need to begin to strengthen the adductors, which are muscles that run up between the legs and insert on the pubic symphysis. And strengthening the adductors together is the key, that you're utilizing um, your adductors at the same time, contracting them equally. That really helps stabilize the pelvis, particularly the pubic symphysis. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is you're going to lie on your back and you're going to do a pelvic tilt. The pelvic tilt is if you, you may need to put something under your back so you can feel this, but the tilt is that you're going to flatten your back out towards the table, tucking your bottom under you, and then lift up. So this first exercise just gets the mobility into the pelvis, but it doesn't should not irritate the pubic symphysis at all. So it's just going from an arch position to a flattened position, tilting your pelvis here. So I want you to do 15 to 20 pelvic tilts as long as they're pain free every day. The next exercise I want you to do is an isometric adduction. You're going to take a pillow, put it between your legs, one lying down, and you're going to squeeze both legs together, squeezing that pillow, holding it for five seconds, and then release. What you'll find, Jason, is that as you do this exercise, the contraction bilaterally, you may feel tenderness right over that pubic symphysis. Squeeze to the point that you feel tenderness, maybe slight pain, but don't go into uh, severe pain. As you do this more and more and get stronger and stronger, you'll be able to squeeze harder and harder. So I want you to stay below the level of you experiencing severe pain. Then I want you to get, after you've done the isometric where you're squeezing, holding for five seconds and relax. I want you to work up to being able to do 15 of those pain-free. Once you can do 15 pain-free, I'm going to have you add a component and add a bridge where you squeeze holding the pillow together. Do the pelvic tilt where you flatten your back towards the table. Hold that and then add the bridge where you lift your bottom up off the table. So then you're going to do this bridging 15 times. The whole time the key is that you're holding the pillow, holding the isometric contraction of your adductors, squeezing the pillow. Then once you can do all three of those exercises pain-free, you can begin to strengthen the adductors one at a time. And the easiest, most simple way to do that is to lie on your side, put one foot over the other, and you're going to lift the legs straight up. Just going nice and slow, and I'm going to have you do 15 on each leg. So here I'm doing my right leg. After I do 15 on my right, I'm going to flip, <coughs> I want you to flip sides and do 15 on the left leg. Then once you can do all three of those exercises pain-free, by that time you should have relatively, be relatively pain-free with movements like rolling over in bed. Then um, in order to get back to any sort of physical activity, I want you to begin to do some strengthening exercises in standing. And that may consist of standing and doing weights in and out on your legs. But I want you to get pain free first. So those first exercises I want you to do
pain-free, then you're going to do the sideline exercises, and then you can do the same thing performing it in a weight-bearing position of standing in order to progress back to your normal activities. I hope that addresses your question. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us. Be well.